Hello, my English 111 students. Shaw University Summer 2019. Welcome to week two. Woohoo! So week one, I was like, wow, there sure was a lot to do. Yeah, there there was, because it was week one. Yeah, so now we're into week two. So what are we going to do this week? Well, you're watching the week two video. Congratulations, that's a good job on you. And the readings for this week in Adigia are Invention, okay, <laughs> which is Defining Strategy and Revision. So that would be, if we go to our Adigia course, it would be the, um, Defining Strategy of Invention, okay, right there, or that one right there, Invention, Learning and Defining Strategy, and then the Revision one, which was down here, and then there's some stuff on how to uh, approach revision, because that's the main thing we're going to be doing this week is revision of that first paper that you wrote last week, okay? So, um, so there's the readings right there. Now, last week you posted to the discussion board your first draft of your, par uh, your paper. And so what you're going to do this week, as it says right here, read and comment on three other students' papers in the discussion board. So you'll go back to this week. So what you're going to do is you go back to this week and you'll click on the discussion board, okay? And then what you'll see when you log here is that there will be a bunch of discussions. It says right now there are no discussion topics yet for this forum. That's because it's semester hasn't started yet. But you'll see other people who have posted. So you can just click on their posts and actually then read through their papers, and you're going to respond with these. Are there any glaring spelling or grammar issues? Is it clear why they are sharing this story? As we noted last week, it's not enough to share a story about something that happened. Why are you sharing? Of all the stories you're sharing, why are you sharing this one? Okay. Did they use at least one of the two props from the assignment? Again, that was explained in last week. And list three things they did well. So you would read through their paper, and then you would answer these questions when you respond to them. So that's what you do for that particular assignment. So you kind of have to go back up there to answer this part. Now note, you have until Wednesday, May 29th. Usually the, the deadlines are on Sunday. But for this one, you have until Wednesday because you have to give them feedback and for them to take that feedback and actually apply it to the paper because then you're going to actually be submitting the paper this week. Okay. Ooh. Now, you're going to have to do revision. Um, and a lot of people don't understand what revision is. So by reading the textbook on revision, there's also a uh, lecture on revision you need to watch. This kind of explains the importance of revision. It's actually kind of a fun little video that it, it kind of demonstrates that. And then you get to take a quiz on revision. So you can understand the concept of revision and then apply all this to your final draft of narration paper one. Now, the way we turn this in is a little different. It's actually got this little icon. You noticed before last week we had this with like a hand holding a paper. This one is something called Turn It In. Turn It In actually checks for plagiarism, um, where it actually will scan your paper and compare it to other papers which have already been submitted and also stuff on the internet. Um, so if you think, oh, I'll find some ways to get around that, uh, no, no. Just write your paper. Write your own paper. Don't pay someone to do it. Don't try to find one that's already been written. Don't use one you've used from a different class. Write your own paper. The whole point of school is for you to learn, and you need to practice writing. Okay? It doesn't help you at all. The person you are hurting the most when you plagiarize is you, because you are not getting the practice you need. Ah, I get so frustrated with students that are trying to cheat and find an easier way. Well, guess what? Congratulations. Even if you did trick me, you just paid for basically nothing because you're paying to take this class and part of the class is to learning the skills and you can't practice the skills unless you actually do them. Okay, sorry, I'll get off my high horse. So to submit your paper, your final draft, so you did your first draft here, um, I will give you feedback and say, hey, it's, this is good. These are things you need to work on. You'll get feedback from your peers. You can actually, again, contact the writing center and say, hey, I need some help with some revision. Again, you can call them. Yeah, they can work with you. And then once you've revised your paper, because you know how to revise it because you've watched the lecture and you've studied it in Odigia, then you've changed your paper and then you can upload it. Now note, you have to be very careful, okay, very careful. You will earn a zero on this assignment if you do one of the following. If you upload the wrong file, including your rough draft or also known as your first draft. This is a technique or a trick that some students use where they didn't finish the revision, and at the last second they realize, oh, I don't have time, I'll quote-unquote accidentally submit the wrong file to say, oh, look, I actually did it on time, it's just the wrong file, I need a couple more days to find the correct file. Uh, eh, no, no, the answer is no. You have to upload the correct file. So I recommend that when you save your files, you actually save them, don't just call it English paper 
or whatever, say first draft of paper one for English 111 or something like that. So clarify, you know, in your thing. Okay, I will compare your first draft to your final draft, okay, and see if there's any changes. There's actually a little program because I take your paper and I download both papers, the first draft and the final draft, and I run up to this little program and it shows me exactly what you've changed between the two of them, okay? If there are not significant changes, basically if you didn't do any revision, you will get a zero. That's bad, okay? This will also tell me if you've plagiarized and where you copied it from, okay? We've talked about plagiarism to death in for week one, so if you plagiarize, you will get a zero and without a chance to redo it. So just don't do any of these things. Just, just follow the rules, okay? So, so to submit this final draft, you click here, on this and it will pull it up and you're like whoa what's all this okay you're going to scroll down here now this is a little different now you're like submit paper i can't really see it so let's go ahead and hide this i showed you this in the one week so i'm just going to click this button right here Boop. okay to hide that and then submit paper okay so there's like a little cloud you're uploading this paper so you're going to click on the little cloud right there okay and then you're going to give this a name final draft Okay, and then you can drag or drop your paper, your revised draft, or you can click here and choose file and upload it, and then upload this file. Okay, and then okay, and then once it's submitted, now please note, once you've submitted your paper, you will get something called a digital receipt. Basically, it's like when you go to the store and they say, "Here's your receipt because you paid for this." Okay. You will get a digital receipt. You have not submitted this paper until you've gotten the digital receipt. The digital receipt will pop up on your screen, and it will send you an email with that digital receipt. Okay, so if you say to me, hey, I turned it in. I don't know why you didn't get it. I'll say, where's your digital receipt? Well, I didn't get one. Well, guess what? Then you didn't turn it in. So again, hit submit paper, upload your file, and you give it a name, blah, 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 whatever. Upload your file, hit add submission. Wait, wait, wait until you get your digital receipt and then you will be good to go. Okay, so, and then it's like, oh, well, how do I get back to this? Well, we click on this, and then we, we're back over here. So, for week two, just to review, uh, we're doing revision. So the first thing you're doing is you're, you know, before Wednesday, the, the 29th, you gotta go back here and, you know, do what I showed you with the discussion board. And then by Sunday, you're gonna have to take the revision quiz and submit your final draft of your first paper. So that's what's going on for week two. And now go ahead and get her done.